Praise the Lord and uh, greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I believe this is the first time in this uh, new year we are meeting you. So happy new year everyone. And uh, let us look to the Lord in prayer. And God is a miracle working God. And I strongly believe that this morning or this evening is going to do a miracle in your life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise your holy name. Lord, we come to your presence with thanksgiving. Thank you for bringing us into a new year, O Lord. Lord Master, whatever you have promised for this year, we believe that every word of it will come to pass, O Lord. And you are a miracle-working God. And Lord, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for strengthening us, O Lord. Thank you for edifying us, O Lord. Thank you for teaching us your way. Lord, we humble ourselves at your feet. Lord, we worship you, Lord. We adore you, Master. Lord, Master, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored. Lord, we give all glory to you, Master. Even as we have come to praise you and to worship you, Lord, we pray that may the Holy Spirit minister to us in a special way. Revive us, O oh Lord. Restore us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give all glory to you. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. We'll sing the song, My life is in you, Lord. My strength is in you, Lord. My hope is in you.
my brother even told you are a king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You are my strength, my shield. To you alone, may my spirit. spoken to us Jesus hallelujah it has come to pass Praise God. he's a promise keeping God and he has promised I will never leave you I will never forsake you Amen. and that he'll be with you always Amen. until the end of the age Amen. Hallelujah. yes Lord Jesus
Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of all honor. Yes, Lord, we crown you with many crowns. Amen, Jesus. We crown you with many crowns. Jesus, Yeah. 
Yes, my Lord. This word initiates all breakthrough. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, my Lord. This word releases all blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Shiva He will lead you into all truth. Amen. Hallelujah. He will lead you into every prepared blessing that is kept for you. Amen. Hallelujah. That is reserved and kept for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, Lord. He will be your strength in your weakness. Amen. Amen, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He can handle everything for you. Amen, Jesus. When you find no way out, He will make you that oil pathway. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you, Master. Amen, Jesus. Jesus, Amen, Jesus. Rimana kira minola lima. Abensinomi, tlashinomi. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence, O Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray that you will move the glory cloud Amen, Jesus. into our dwelling place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, help us to dwell in your presence. Amen, Jesus. To be completely taken over, consumed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, Lord. Let there be no activity of flesh. Amen. Let there be no intentions of the flesh. Jesus. Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit consume everything of it. May the Holy Fire consume everything of it. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. 
și hantele urabale. Now is the time of deliverance. The Lord is liberating you. The Holy Spirit is liberating you. Yes, my Lord, from anything and everything that is not of Him. From everything and anything that is not of Him. Holy Spirit, have your way, O Lord. Amen, Jesus. Have your way. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Hallelujah, Jesus. Shaharat In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. And uh, greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are so happy. I'm excited to share uh, God's word with you because uh, uh, specifically the Lord spoke to me because this year, this is the first meeting we are we are having I mean the 11:30 a.m. Uh, uh, meeting uh, still waters, so I have a specific specific word of blessing uh, for this year, and also I believe that this is also a time for a little correction. You know, whatever the Holy Spirit wants to set uh, right in us, if we can allow Him to do so. He will definitely minister to us. So I'm going to read a few verses from Genesis chapter 26 and one verse from Gospel according to John chapter 7. 
So firstly, I will read the uh, Genesis part of it. So Genesis chapter 26. Verses 3, verses 12, and verses 13. So the third verse says, Dwell in this land, and I will be with you and bless you. For to you and your descendants I will give all these lands, and I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham your father. Most importantly, dwell in this land and I will be with you and bless you. I will be with you and bless you. And then the uh, 12th and the 13th verse, then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. The Lord blessed him. The man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. Okay, so just the flip of a page, I am able to see the fulfillment of God's word. He said, I will be with you and bless you. Just the flip of a page, Bible says, God bless him. And then uh, in the New Testament, John chapter 7 and verses 38. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. So I'm uh, led by the Lord to preach under the title, Flow and Glow. So the title for this morning is Flow and Glow. Right, so, you know, uh, the very start of God's promise, dwell in this land, very powerful word. We all know that uh, chapter 26 unfolds and reveals to us that there was a famine in the day in the days of Isaac. There was a famine in the days of Isaac. And instantly Isaac went all the way uh, to Abimelech. Abimelech, the king of the Philistines in Gerar. Because there was an oath or there was a, there was a covenant made between Abimelech and uh, Abraham. So because it was, a, it was a promise of a government, Isaac relied on the words. He relied on the covenant. And he went all the way to Gerar. It was a Philistine territory. It was in the Philistine territory. He went there. But to his astonishment, he was shocked to discover that there was a breach in that covenant. Since there was a breach in the covenant, <clears throat> he lost all his hope. Because it's not an individual, it is the government. You know, when certain government policies are, upsets you, or when certain government rules and regulations disappoints you, I want to tell you, just wait patiently. The Lord, the Lord will be with you, bless you. You know, if there is a golden rule that needs to be written, a golden slogan, all, 
all your disappointments the disappointments of your past is going to be turned into delight this year praise the lord amen so whatever disappointments see here isaac was totally disappointed he was totally you know dejected because not an individual but a government a government simply you know simply has allowed a breach to happen in the covenant and the covenant is no more or no longer you know effective the oath or the covenant or the undertaking is no longer alive and he was totally disappointed and isaac was thinking everything in his mind what shall i do next where am i going to go what is going to be my next move you know when he was totally perplexed unable to make any decision of his own i want to use this word if you are in a situation not knowing to decide unable to make any decision i want to tell you the lord is with you to bless you the very presence of god will release peace into your heart and that will give you confidence and boldness so what happened when isaac was totally perplexed when he was not able to make any decision of his own unable to make any further moves the lord intervened actually i believe in his heart he was thinking to go to egypt he was thinking to go to egypt see just just this because you know when the lord addressed him he says then the lord appeared to him and said do not go down to egypt so just to spiritualize this phrase at times when you are unable to take decisions what happens is that you quickly turn back to egypt which means turning to fleshly decisions being in egypt is slavery which means you are acting in your flesh you must know when you are acting in your spirit you are free but whenever you act in flesh you are a slave if you are making your move in the spirit means you are a son you are a daughter but when you go back to egypt which means you are going to operate in flesh whatever you do in flesh is totally limited totally limited it might lead you you know to loss but when you do in spirit when you operate in spirit what happens you are operating in the realm of unlimited the realm of the spirit is always unlimited he were moving into abundance so you know just in case for isaac it is almost a daily chapter for us whether you go back to egypt or to hear his voice and do his will when you hear his voice you will be able to operate in the spirit when you operate in the spirit you are totally unlimited 
You know, flesh is the agent of the enemy to cause you to sin. Why the enemy often pushes you to sin? Why he entices you to commit sin? It is because when you do sin, or when you act in flesh that leads you to sin, you're going back to the family of Adam. You are getting accustomed to the family of Adam. But when you act in the spirit, you're declaring that you no longer belong to the family of Adam. You belong to the family of Jesus. The family of Jesus is totally unlimited. You know, you can discover the kingdom only in the family of Adam. I mean, family of Jesus, not in the family of Adam. I want to repeat it. You can only discover kingdom in the family of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when you act in the spirit, you are actually operating in the spirit and you are in the kingdom of God. Acknowledged by the kingdom of God. Acknowledged by the kingdom of light. And whatever you say, whatever you speak, it carries life. You know, in the whole of the world, you take the whole of the world. Many people who do not believe in Christ. Even people who do not believe in Jesus Christ are speaking about positive confession. What is the difference? We are not called to make positive confessions, but we are called to make declaration of life. That is possible only when you are identified by the kingdom of light. When you belong to the kingdom of light, when you position yourself in the kingdom of light, and when you speak, those words carry life. Otherwise, it will be a mere waste of words. You can say positively, but it will not happen. You can keep yourself positive by saying, Positive things. You can develop even a positive attitude. But that won't help you. Many a times you might have seen a failure in this. Oh, I, I spoke positively. Yes, indeed, I spoke positively. I said that I would not be in depth. But here, yet again, I'm stuck in this area. It is because you spoke, you spoke positively, but you didn't declare, you know, life standing in the kingdom of God. When you are in the realm of the spirit, acknowledging your position under the kingdom, knowing your privileges under the sonship, you can speak. That will be words of authority. You will be proclaiming. It will be like proclamation. Praise the Lord. And then you will see those words are so creative. When, you know, God, when we, when we say God is a fullness of life. When he stood and when he said, let there be light, instantly darkness was chased out. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it is very important for us in this year, particularly, to get aligned to the will of God and be positioned in the kingdom of God. And then begin to do our declarations boldly. You will have the spiritual prompting 
to speak. The utterance, you know, it will come from within you. Just as you speak in tongues. The overflow of your spirit will encourage you or will compel you, I would say, to declare. And whatever you declare will come to pass. Praise the Lord. So, you know, the Lord spoke to Isaac in the very right, appropriate time. And he said, do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land of which I shall tell you. In other words, don't ever operate in flesh. Just be guided by the Holy Spirit. And do according to his will. And then you shall see wonders. You shall see wonders. Praise the Lord. So, you know, Genesis chapter 26 and verses 3. The very first word, 12. You know, you can just, if you are taking notes, you can write a big 12. 12. 12. So you must know this is the very first word. When God spoke to Isaac, you know, see, before his promise, because he is promising in the third verse, I will be with you and I will bless you. So, you know, before this promise, he's just saying one word, which is dwell, dwell. You know, you know that it's a season of famine. And the greatest problem for Isaac in that chapter was locating his father's wells, right? Right? So it's all about the well, right? But, he, but you know, you must see that when God speaks, the very first word has the solution also along with it. Because there is a well in dwell. Right? Are you able to notice it? There is a well in dwell. So when he said dwell, you know, instantly the spirit man will say, hey, he has spoken what I'm going to need as I operate according to his, his will. His will is all about the well and that well is there in dwell. Praise the Lord. So this year, your well is concealed in the dwell. So I am speaking a revelation, a secret to you. Okay. It is all about the well and it is all about dwell. That's why, you know, flow and glow, God gave this as a title. You know, it is interesting to discover from the 26th chapter and uh, you know because uh, uh, the yes see here uh, you will understand in the 26 verse that he became prosper, continued prospering until he became very prosperous. For he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and a great number of servants so 
the Philistines envied him. 15th verse, now the Philistines had stopped up all the wells which his father's servants had dug in the days of Abraham, his father, and they had filled them with earth. And Abimelech said to Isaac, go away from us for you are much mightier than me. So very important secret. If the flow continues, you become mightier. It's all about the flow. This year, 2022, it's all about the flow. Let the river flow. Let the water keep flowing. The well represents the heart. That is why I read for you from the New Testament you know, from John chapter 7, verses 38. So it represents your heart. What happens if there is, if the flow is just going on, you become mightier. If you continue your walk with God, if you continue in the meditation, of God's word. If you continue in fasting, if you continue in intimacy with God, what happens is that you become more mightier, you become more powerful, you become more influential, you become more strong, which the enemy hates. So what the enemy does is that the enemy is stopping the flow. The enemy is trying his best to stop the flow. Bible says in the 15th verse, Genesis 26 verses 15, Now the Philistines had stopped up all the wells, which his father's servant had dug in the days of Abraham, his father, and they had filled them with earth, mud. So many hearts were flowing, and then the enemy knew the secret. If the flow is continuing, there will be glow. Flow leads to glow. Flow leads to enlightenment. Flow leads to more power. Flow leads to revelation after revelation. Flow leads to blessing after blessing. So what can be done to stop the flow? The enemies have put mud, mud, earth, it says. So earthly things. So if the flow is keeping on going, if, if the flow continues, what happens? You become mightier, you become stronger, you become richer. You become blessed. So the enemy cunningly to stop the well, he puts the mud. He puts everything that is earthly. He puts everything that is secondary. He puts everything that is worldly. So that there is no flow at all. The well is stopped. When the well is stopped, not just the well, you know, it affects everything that is connected to the well. You know, I have preached even earlier because those days there was no document for the property. The only document for the property was inscriptions you can find in the rocks in the well, inside of the well. So they used to, you know, dig deep wells and in those stones they will just inscribe things saying this belongs to this person. This and this and this belongs to this person. So when the well is stopped, 
when the well is covered with earth which means not just the well is going to be stopped not just the flow is going to be affected but everything you know that is connected to the flow connected to the well will be affected you are deprived of all your blessings because you did not spend time to repair the well to keep the flow going so this morning god reveals to us and says take care of your well that's what you even read in proverbs chapter 4 and verses 23 so you need to take enough care about your heart what the enemy is going to put to stop the flow it's not a one day thing he cannot stop the flow just like that he begin to put stone after stone mud after mud everything that is totally worldly he will put and he will see to it that the well is completely stopped if there is no flow there is no glow if there is no glow then darkness slowly creeps in because there's no light darkness slowly creeps in and covers totally bible says even in the beginning there was darkness holy spirit was hovering over the waters but deep inside there was darkness let us not be people of that kind of lifestyle yes holy spirit is hovering over me but deep inside of me there is still darkness so the only way out is to set our wells right to rediscover our wells when you rediscover your well you're going to get back that flow when you get back that flow you're going to get back that glow when you get back that glow you are going to chase away every darkness and all that is yours will be able to see you'll be able to see clearly you know everything that is connected to the well everything every property that is connected to this blessing will be yours praise the lord and that is how isaac discovered his rehoboth when he discovered his rehoboth you know he says and he moved from there and dug another well and they did not quarrel over it so he called its name rehoboth because he said for now the lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land praise the lord so this is what god wants to speak to us flow take care of the flow flow and glow the key word is dwell because your well is inside this word dwell so this year you have to decide lord unearth everything oh lord remove every dirt from my heart remove everything the enemy has somehow put inside me might be through my actions in flesh or might be directly planted by the enemy but whatever that affects the flow 
Lord, take it away from me. Take it away from me totally. From my mind. You know, from the depths of my heart. Lord, I want your light to penetrate even the depths of my heart. I don't want darkness to hide anywhere inside of me. I don't want darkness to, you know, cover any part of my mind. I want the Holy Spirit to hover over me and inside of me so that I'll be full of light. There will be flow and there will be glow. Praise the Lord. Amen. And definitely this year, you will discover your Rehoboth. You will also see hundredfold blessing. Hundredfold blessing. When you are powerless to make decisions, when you are totally clueless, don't worry. Do not go back to Egypt. The Lord will reveal to you his way and his will. The Holy Spirit will do marvelous things and you will rejoice because you will discover all your wells. Praise the Lord. Where there is a flow, there will definitely be a glow. And the key word you must remember is dwell. Dwell in the sweetness of his presence. Where life dominates, where your life will be more powerful and you will discover the purpose of God. And then you will rejoice, you will rejoice greatly in his presence. Let us pray. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are a miracle working God. And Lord, it is our prayer. May your light penetrate into the deeper parts of our heart, into the deeper parts of our thoughts. And Lord, take away everything Everything that disturbs the flow. Unearth our heart completely. Throw everything that is worldly. Maybe it is deposited over the years. But Lord, we pray that may the Holy Spirit revive us totally. Rejuvenate us totally. Take away everything, every dirt, every earth, every worldly piece of it. And Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to continue in the flow and to be more powerful, more influential, more blessed and to do Everything according to your will and build your kingdom. But I especially pray for those people who are just waiting to make decisions. Waiting to make decisions. Lord, even if they are so perplexed, unable to decide, totally clueless, I pray may the Holy Spirit reveal yourself, O oh Lord. Fill them, O oh Lord, and lead them according to your will. You are a God of mighty counsels. Yes, my Lord, you are a wonderful counselor. We pray that you will counsel your people and lead them in the paths of righteousness. Bless us, O oh Lord. Lord, let the flow begin. Restore our relationship with you. 
restore our spiritual walk with you restore our intimacy with you oh lord thank you holy spirit help us to continue in our daily devotion help us to continue in our quiet time prayers thank you holy spirit help us to continue in our fasting thank you holy spirit whatever that we have left whatever the enemy has put as a dirt in us remove everything remove every stain wash us by your precious blood cleanse us by your precious blood yes my lord sanctify us by the holy spirit help us to continue the flow and lord help us to glow for your kingdom and for your glory i bless every one of these individuals that are connected this morning lord may your presence cover them totally bless them oh lord let the flow continue let the flow continue bless them protect them from every kind of dangers help us to do your will and be aligned to your will and be positioned in the kingdom where we'll be acknowledged by the kingdom of light and whatever we declare will happen the creative power will begin to add life to every word bless everyone of oh master in the blessed name of jesus we pray Amen, amen.